how to set up the dynamic remarketing ads within Google. Now specifically we're just going to do the ad setup. You know, there's other work to be done on the back end of your website, but I'm going to show you the ad setup. But before we jump into that, I'm going to show you a few screenshots. Here's uh, what one of the remarketing ads looks like. This is, again, a dynamic remarketing, retargeting ad, but this is through Google. Uh, let's see here. Here's another one on boredomtherapy.com. Just some screenshots that I, I collected uh, over time. Here's some more dynamic uh, image ads, banner ads. And here's another example. Uh, in this one, you can actually uh, look around, browse products before you even go to the website. And then you can change the call to action. You can set the background color, the logo, um, all sorts of things. It's kind of a, I really like this setup. So this has been running for a while. Um, we haven't done too much to optimize this. So our, um, but you can see our average cost per click is kind of in line with what we've paid uh, in other places. So let's go along into the setup. Here's the campaign. We're going to add some ad. We're going to add another ad group. So here we go. Okay, we're going to create a new ad group as soon as it comes back. Okay, we'll just call this just for for you. The tar. Okay, we'll um, put this in here. And we're not going to actually run this campaign, but I'm just going to show you how this goes in. And we'll do, um, okay, we're going to target um, remarketing. We're going to select the, uh, let's see here, remarketing lists. And in this, we are going to select product viewers. So it's not, the, not a huge audience. Let me see here. Do we have that in there? Yep. Product viewers are in here. And that's all I want to add in here is interests and remarketing, but we're not going to do any interests. Let's take a look here. Down here it says let AdWords automatically find new customers. Uh, for now I'm leaving that off. Um, I specifically want to target people that have, because these are dynamic ads, I just want the people that are um, have visited the website. So, I mean, you can see our other audiences we have I mean, you could really, uh, I've got a bunch of some segments here. So yeah, they actually do similar audiences. I haven't tried that yet, but at some point I give that a try. So let's save and continue. And here it comes. All right. So this is where it gets kind of, um, it basically has a built-in designer. And so I'm just going to, I think I'm gonna pick the one that I used in the past. Let's take a look here. You got all these choices of different things up here. So let's go back. We'll just pick the one that was already there. Let's take a look. Uh, I kind of like, well, no, I'm not sure if I like that one so much. I like one that has some text. We'll keep the text in there. And let's see, I thought I saw an, an, another different one in here that I liked. Uh, let's see, this one, was it that one, that one, that one? Okay, there we go, I like that one. Okay, let's do, um, so it shows my Merchant Account Center, it's got to be, this has got to be in there, so it can pull the product images. So let's select a logo. Um, I've got some uploaded images already in here and we'll pick that logo and we're going to leave the shop now in there. I'm just going to do all these advanced options. I'm going to put in W-L-A-N-P-A-R-T-S. There's my headline and I'm going to change that to a light color because I'm going to have a different background. Let's take a look at more options in here. Background. I'm going to select, I've already got an image in here, so we're going to pick that. You can put in different colors. So there's my background color. All right, and we're going to do, make it opaque so it gets the right color in here. There we, look at that. Pretty quick, pretty, pretty quick. Let's, um, let me do no gradient, and I'm going to do background color in here. It says blue. I don't want blue. Let's take a look at product settings. So product price color. 
we can, I'm just going to make that black. There it goes. Uh, and then are we going to... Well, I, I like to just show the descriptions. And let's make, see if we can make that bigger. So you could, now you see it's showing these things. So let's do, is our call to action in here? It's in a different place. Where is that? Now, I'm not going to put a disclaimer. And we're going to go square corners. Let's pick round corners. Let's see, what does that do? Yeah, see, it makes the corners round. And then, let's see, logo pad. Oh, here's our call to option, a call to action. I like kind of like, I think Amazon picked a good color for their, their, um, for theirs. And I'm going to change the roller over cover to something darker. You roll over it, it'll turn dark. And then let's see what round corners look like. Oh, I kind of like that. And now this, we've got this gray area in here. So we could leave that is, or we can make it red. I'm, we're just going to leave that, that as is for now. And see, you could go in here. See how dynamic this is? We can now look at, at products before we even click through. So that's, and that's how simple these dynamic ads are. It, it's really just having your logo, your background, your name, and sticking it in there. So let's now go to uh, save, save ads. And it's going to give us a preview of what all the ads look like. It just takes a moment to, for it all to pop up. So what it does is it's showing us all the sizes. Uh, these will look a little bit, let's take a look at the HTML5. It'll display both that flash and the dynamic HTML5 uh, banners. So these are all the banner sizes. I mean, all you had to do is, is put it, plug in your logo, put in your text, and it pretty much creates everything for you. I mean, this is just really slick. It really works out nice. So, yeah, they look, at all the ad sizes are here, um, from the tall ones to the small ones. And, I mean, you're just basically done. We're going to click that. And then, okay, it takes a moment. And, and we'll just go to the campaign. And we'll take a look. And here's our new set of ads. And if we want to preview these, I have to just click on the um, the link here. It's going to give us a preview. Uh, well, it's not quite formatted. There we go. And then you can actually copy this URL in here, and you can see it live. So we, let's give that a try. And we could take a look at the ad. Uh, it's a nice feature. Well, it's just going to show us everything here. So we'll take a look at the, uh, make sure these are HTML5. So it gives you a nice little preview there. You can dynamically scroll through this in that preview as well. And then we're going to click on it on another one. And it's going to show us each of the sizes. We'll scroll through here. We can take a look. There we go. Looks kind of nice. I like them. Uh, here's a real small one. So let's go to let's just take another look at some here. Uh, this one. There we go. And that's about it. Uh, once you've got your um, uh, your pixel in the um, in your website. And you start, I mean, start building your your list, then you can start retargeting them. I mean, I put my, you know, pixels in a couple months ago, and then just waited a while before I set this up. And that's kind of what I recommend: is just get that pixel in right away, and then it, you can start actually start setting those ads up anytime. And basically, the thing is, get your pixel in, link, your, make sure your uh, your Merchant Center account is linked into your AdWords create your ads, you're ready to remarket. So I appreciate your time watching this video and 
keep yourself uh, here on this uh, YouTube channel, and we'll have some more some more videos for you.